So, needed a few more, maybe a couple more minutes just to kind of talk about when I added these holes here. Okay, so as far as taking, taking the filigree carver tip, such as that, taking that, when I'm making the holes, of course, you're kind of piercing the, the shell, the carved shell part of the gourd. And you can do it on there too. One of the things you want to be very careful, you got to have a very steady hand. Uh, you always want to make sure your hand's very steady. But then also, you, you know, you're going to hold, you got to hold the carver uh, in, in the gourd itself very firmly because depending on the thickness, um, the density of the shell, it may try to kind of kick around, uh, which is going to really mess up if you're trying to do holes. The good thing about this is when you're doing various sizes such as this, if you mess one up, if you go to make a small one and you mess it up, you can kind of just carve it out a little bit to make it bigger. But you always want to be very careful because you can't make it too big. But blend it in as best you can. Uh, other than that, if, if the shell of where you're carving is, is kind of thin, you're going to be very, very more careful there because it's gonna, this, this, this burr is gonna wanna kinda take away more of the, the shell than you're gonna want. Uh, it's gonna take it away a lot more easier than the thicker parts of the gourd, such as, you know, such as the bottom. So I don't know if you can kinda see anything with that, but such as up in here, it's a little bit thinner. It goes a lot quicker. So I'm gonna be, be prepared for that. I found that when when I'm, you know, doing the holes, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of sticking that part in there, going in a circular motion, of course, to make circles. Who would have thought? Um, I found that when I'm going one way, it, it really takes away a lot of the shell, and if I go the other way, it really kind of just like it's almost like it's sanding out the hole uh, in the way that I want it to be. So once you get the shape that you want. Find the direction that you can go in that, that's really just kind of kind of go with the shape and not take away more than you want to. You know, once you try it out, you'll kind of hopefully, hopefully know what I'm talking about there. So again, just be careful with the, the density. You know, if it's a softer shell, if it's a softer gourd, uh, it's going to be a lot faster, a lot easier to kind of take away a lot. And you want to be really careful with that. If it's a lot harder, more dense of a gourd you really want to have a handle on it be very careful because it's really going to kind of kick around um, it's going to be a little bit harder to do so so you're going to have to take a little bit more time to do it um, so try it out again have questions feel free to ask um, and experiment try it out practice you know be creative be different be unique be weird. <laughs>